Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we're looking at the RZE Resolute in my right hand. I did that so I can uh, hopefully call this watch by the right name. Uh, Resolute in the right hand, and Endeavor in my left hand here. Uh, the Endeavor is obviously a dive watch version of the Resolute. Or maybe the Resolute is a field watch version of the Endeavor. I'm not sure which one came out first. Uh, but the dimensions on the case are essentially the same. So it's just a matter of having a fixed bezel versus a rotating bezel. Also the thickness is a little bit different. The Endeavor is one millimeter thicker than the Resolute. Let's hold these back to back here and maybe you'll see the thickness difference. I don't know if it's on the case back. It's not the case that's different. Perhaps it's just a thicker crystal and the bezel sticking out um, a little bit more. But the Endeavor measures at in at 12 and a half thick. In the Resolute I measured at 11.6 thick. But like I said, the case dimensions are the same. 46 millimeter lug to lug, 39 and a half on the case, measuring from this area right here over to the opposite side here. Measure that in at 39 and a half. And also the bezel on this one is a 39 and a half. Lug width is 20. And that tapers down very nicely the 16. It's a very comfortable bracelet due to the nice taper, the nice articulation with this H-link bracelet. And these H-links are a little bit smaller than what you typically see for an H-link bracelet. And it's titanium too, so it wears very, very light on the wrist. And um, you don't feel the temperature if it's cold out you don't feel the watch being cold with the with this being grade 2 titanium bezel action on this one it's i mean it's okay it's it's not good but it's not i don't know it's not terrible i just i think that tends to be the case with titanium it feels really light and um it's kind of tinny with the with the clicks. Uh, maybe I'll you can hear it here. If you can hear that or not. But I hardly ever use the bezels on watches anyway. Uh, rotating bezels, or uh, you know, if a fixed bezel, uh, for example, I have a uh, SBGN003 um, Grand Seiko GMT. I don't really use the GMT function on it. Uh, crown size on both of these measures in at seven and a half. Uh, weight difference, yes, there is a weight difference. The Resolute is 91 grams, and the Endeavor is 96 grams. Uh, these both are size for my six and a half inch wrist. So obviously, if you have a larger wrist, you'll have more links in here, and the weight will uh, increase. And if you have a smaller wrist, the weight may decrease. I still have, I think, one link on each side. Actually, there's two links here you can remove still, and one link on this side that can still be removed. So if you have, I mean, even a six, maybe even a five and a half inch wrist, you could probably still get this on wrist. Yeah, maybe maybe five and a half. Uh, my preference for this watch, you know, as much as I like a dive watch. I, I think I prefer the field watch version I, because you can see more of the of the case. You can see more of this angular case uh, with the fixed bezel. Also being a titanium watch, it just adds to the lightweightness. But uh, one negative in my mind is the Resolute is offered only with date. And the Endeavor is offered with date and without date. My preference, of course, is no date. I got lucky buying this watch. I picked it up used. So let me know your preference. Do you like the Endeavor or the Resolute? 
looking at the case back. Uh, no, I guess it's the same case back. Let's read the case back real quick. So, Ultra Hex Titanium. You know, reference number there. And then this is the... I guess you could call it... It's not really a serial number, but it's... Limited to 500, and this is number 117. Uh, sapphire Crystal. Now they both have a sapphire crystal with AR coating applied to the underside. And the water resistance on this one is 100. Uh, screw down case back, screw down crown. And this of course also has the screw down case back and the screw down crown. But I would imagine the crystal is a little, probably a millimeter thicker to give you the 200 meter water resistance. Uh, so this case back says NH30, did it say 5 or 8? NH 38A, and that's because this is the no date. And the Resolute has the NH 35A versus the NH 38A. Trying to find, okay, there we go, water resistance. 200 meter water resistant. So the price for the Endeavor is $499. They have yellow dial they have a green dial they have an orange dial and they have it's almost like a turquoise blue color uh, i know the yellow one is only with date um, but you'll have to I'll, I'll leave a link to their website in the description now this watch here was loaned in by rze and uh, this watch i purchased used with the date it's a little round uh, date window at the six o'clock I, I really don't like round date windows it's just kind of a pet peeve of mine I guess I, I don't care for well I don't care for date windows at all in the first place and then a round one is just this too screwy for me but uh, this one's not too bad it's uh, boxed in uh, date window price for the Endeavor uh, I called it by the wrong name I, uh, anyway Resolute put in my right hand Resolute Price for this is $399 on a canvas strap, which I have here. I'll show you real quick. It's a canvas strap, uh, leather backed canvas strap. Feels like a nice strap. I just prefer a uh, bracelet. Ink in my finger from writing notes. And on the bracelet, on the titanium bracelet, is $469. I would, I almost always opt for a bracelet on watches if I can get that option first, uh, such as my Tudor Black Bay 58. I, well, I would have taken either one, but if I had a choice, I would go for the bracelet. All right, let me, actually, a little more information. These both have the Ultra Hex coating for 1200 hardness on the Vicar scale. Uh, 316 L stainless steel is around 200, so six times more scratch resistant than 316 L stainless steel. Both have a sand textured dial with applied indices. Let's uh, zoom in. I'll show you both of these dials up close. So it's not so easy to see the sand textured dial, but you can see it here. Like I said in the previous video, it kind of reminds me of a, an orange peel or a lemon uh, lemon skin. Let's see if we can see it on this white dial. This one may not be sand textured. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Uh, this watch is not offered on their website anymore. So limited to 500 pieces. I don't know, I can't see a textured dial. Let me know if you guys can see the texturing on this. Uh, like I said, it may not actually be textured. The information I found on the website is for the current models. The Again, the yellow, green, orange, and uh, the turquoise blue color. I can see the texture on this pretty easy. Also, you notice this has uh, blue and white at the cardinal points for the indices 12, 3, 6, and 
And uh, this has a double baton. I think that's just for uh, Resolute. The current Endeavors have that same, uh, kind of like a double wide marker at the top there. All right, let me get both of these on wrist and then we'll check out the loom. Let me zoom back out here. Uh, actually, I'll show you next to my SKX. Yeah, the weight difference is kind of funny. 96 grams versus uh, 91 grams on the Resolute. I think I already mentioned that. I just unwrapped this watch the other day. I really have not worn it much. Just wanted to get it sized and uh, on wrist to show you how it looks compared to the Resolute. I don't know why, but I have a hard time with these remembering these model names. So there it is on my six and a half inch wrist with the 52 millimeter wristband. And lug to lug on this again is 46. Uh, they both do have drilled lugs which is a nice feature these don't have any kind of a quick release pin here but you really don't need that with drilled lugs and there's a very generous opening there to access the spring bar now one more thing to note is the clasp here uh, these four pieces are stainless steel with the titanium coating so it looks like it's titanium, but it's not. Um, I think it's fairly common for titanium bracelets to have a stainless steel clasp. Uh, Zelos, I have a couple of Zelos titanium watches and they have the same thing, but they don't have a coating applied. So you can see the difference between the titanium bracelet and the stainless steel clasp. All right, let's get the Resolute um, wrist. Then I'll zoom out with this one, just to get a little bit different of a perspective. That gray dial looks uh, very nice. The gray Fumé dial, where, where it goes from a uh, lighter color to a darker color, and then the, the gray colored titanium bracelet and case, it, uh, it goes well together. And then the date wheel is a little darker than the, the dial, so. Looks very nice. Like I said, nice taper on the watch. All right, let's zoom out. You know, I'll throw the white dial one back on wrist real quick too. We'll just slide this down. We'll put them side by side. The white dial kind of plays tricks with how large it looks. White dial watches always seem to look larger than uh, darker colored dial watches. I'll hold that off to the side for a minute and then bring it back over. So here they are. You know, I didn't measure the crystal. I'm assuming the crystals are the same size. Try and check that real quick with this kind of a cheap ruler I have here. At least it's rubber coated. Probably not very accurate. Yeah, looks to be the same size of dial. Just looking at it real quickly here. All right, let me pause the video and then we'll check out the loom on these three watches. I'll throw in the SKX. And um, yeah, we'll see how it looks. All right, so I didn't mention it uh, in the previous portion of the video here, but of course the RZE Endeavor with this colorway is a full loom dial. Um, it's really bright on camera, not 
quite as bright by eye, but the loom is still amazing on it. Uh, in the loom on both of these RZE is a mixture of BGW9 and C3 Super Luminova. And of course, on the right, we have a Seiko Lumabrite. Um, I would say the RZE loom is a little brighter than the Seiko, but it's pretty similar. And actually, I'll take the Resolute out and I'll bring over the SKX next to the Endeavor. Just so we can look at this full loom dial. I should probably bring this one back over. Looks like it still fits. Yeah, the full loom dials are uh, really fun. And uh, the bezel is just loomed at the 12 o'clock on the RZE and, of course, the SKX as well. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, like the video and leave a comment below. I think that will conclude today's video. As always, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.